Hey folks, Coach Fizz here for the Knicks. I'm here with my video coordinator slash chief of staff, Marcus Jones, and we're going to take you through some clips to show you why Mitchell Robinson is such a special player. Jackson fakes, Jackson drives, oh, blocked by Robinson, and he caught the block. Here we got Mitchell guarding the pick and roll. He's in a show coverage. Pause it there, Marcus. As you can see, he's all the way out to half court in a show. Now, as that ball comes out of the pick and roll, Mitchell, with his speed, sprints back to the rim, which now allows our weak side to get back and still gets to the rim to challenge a catch and go from a big time athlete in Josh Jackson. With his left hand, the appropriate hand, he keeps it in bounds and he keeps it in play. Lou Williams blocked by Robinson. Kadeem is on Lou Williams here. Lou Williams being the crafty player that he is, catching goes right down the lane. Mitchell, again, 25 feet out away from the rim. He's a tracker. He tracks down one of the best in the league at getting to that basket. Again, the left hand block where he keeps it in play and it allows us to get out and transition. Eight working down low. Blocked by Robinson. Threw it right back at him. Now, this is something that we worked on. Pause there. Early in the year, Mitchell's post defense was a little bit sus suspect because of his strength. But now, because he's been in the weight room and he's learned some good techniques, he's taken on the number one pick in the draft here, Mr. Ayton. And again, meeting him at the apex, three feet away from the rim with his left hand, keeping that thing in play, giving us an opportunity to recover it and fast break. Coach, how much of uh, Mitch's ability is, is due to coaching and how much is instinct? A lot of it is instinct. I don't want to take credit for all of Mitchell's abilities. He came in here with the, the great ability of timing. He had the ability to block shots with either hand. And he already had the understanding that keeping it in bounds is better for the team. What we've improved on, I think, the most is his technique, his recognition of situations, his ability to stay out of foul trouble now. Those are the areas that I really feel like he's really improved. Robinson, meanwhile, with another block on a three, comes down the other end, and the foul! What a sequence from Mitchell Robinson. Now here, another defensive coverage. He showed he can trap pick and rolls. Now Mitchell's out on a switch against a big time guard, Beasley, a guy who's really given us problems. He's blocking jump shots as well with his left hand, the appropriate hand, because Beasley's a right-handed player. He does it without fouling. And now he out-hustles him to the ball, and he's out on the break like a guard. And this is where he's really special with his speed and his ability to finish at the rim. Uh, not many guys that can do all of that in one possession. Team driving on Knox. Robinson, <laughs> again, that's number five. Here's Smith Jr. ahead of the field. Now, on the weak side, he's always protecting our guys. T has a speed advantage over Kevin Knox, but Mitchell is back there to protect him. And as he goes, Mitchell again with the left hand, blocks it, keeps it in play, and now we're off to the races where we get an uncontested layup on the other end because of Mitchell's ability uh, to block shots and keep it in play. Not down, he gets the block on DeRozan. Beautiful rejection from Mitchell Robinson. Lance Thomas takes the three. Now on this clip, freeze it there, Marcus. He switched off against one of the best in the league at the two guard position and DeMar DeRozan. You would think this is a mismatch. You would think that, you know, De DeRozan is going to come out of this with a basket or a foul or both. But against Mitchell Robinson, his ability to slide his feet, change directions, keep his hands out of the play and still block that shot and keep it in play while he's rebounding the ball is just a fantastic ability. It gives us such advantages on the offensive end when he does that. And we end up getting a lot of open shots because of what he did for us defensively. Where do you see him improving in defensively next year? Where, where can he go to? What's his next level? His next level is going to be uh, sliding his feet better. Um, obviously, that's going to be a big part of it. Uh, I want him to be able to guard guards from the beginning of the possession and not have to wait to switch them on the guys. Um, and at the same time, I want his voice to get bigger. I think that's going to be a big part of his growth is taking over our defense with his voice. And um, right now, he's getting there. I think having some veteran guys out here like Rasheed Wallace, uh, Willis Reed, the captain, has spoken to him about it. 
Um, we've had some really good players in his ear, and I think that just hearing that from those guys, how important his voice is uh, on the defensive end, he's really taking that to heart, and I think he's going to apply it big time next year.